Well, I am so thrilled to be here at the Mega Institute and I'm here with Mark Lilly from Street Yoga and we wanted just to take a little bit of time to talk about the uh, efforts of uh, Omega and the yoga community coming together to support activism and uh, social outreach and how hopefully it can impact both our local community as well as the global community in which we share. Um, Mark, can you tell us a little bit just about why are we here and what right. is the intention of this effort? Well, we were invited by Omega to bring together leaders from the field of yoga, mindfulness and service to meet and share and teach each other and inspire each other and, and find celebration in the activities that are going on in the yoga community. And a lot of this comes from your efforts to bring the sense of yoga and service to the wider world, to connect yoga and activism, to give people a real understanding that you can take the principles and practices of yoga that are so powerful in self-transformation and open them up into community transformation, into transforming the lives of people who, who face incredible challenges getting through sexual abuse or physical abuse or poverty or homelessness. And so we were graced by Omega to come here and to, to share and to collaborate. And so part of this is so that we can celebrate the work that people are doing really at ground level, but also to reinforce some of the projects that Sean has to bring this to a much wider audience in the global community. And so Sean is here and she's excited to, to have this giant picture of getting every one of the 20 million people doing yoga to understand that it's possible to show up and to help out and to be of service and doing so, like you were alluding to, not only helps yourself, but it helps the other person. Or the flip side might be is that being of service to someone else not only helps them, but more importantly, it even helps you. And so if you would even talk about how your personal experience with service has, has influenced the way you approach this, this global perspective. I think that'd be really interesting. Mm -hmm. So for me personally, as someone who's been an activist, I've done it very badly over the years because I was trying to channel my rage, my sense of injustice, but it was just because I couldn't contain the energy through the practice of yoga, through meditation, movement, breathing, through releasing the tension, it allows me to feel. And the more I can feel, the more I can surrender. The more I can surrender, the more I can see that interdependency and interconnection. And so for me, service has been that next step. It's been the next extension, not so much about how can yoga change me, my attitude, my behavior, uh, my essence, but how can I, through this incredible practice, begin to transform and change the world? I see it as a responsibility. Um, yoga gives so much. How can I not extend the energy? Otherwise, I contain it. And so years ago, the first project we did was um, create an off mat into the world t-shirt to benefit youth aids. I thought, eh, I'll make a t-shirt, sell it to my yoga community, make a couple of bucks and see what happens. We raised $60,000 in the course of three months like this. And that's when I knew that we have an altruistic and educated community that wants to do something they just don't know how. So how do we work with different organizations? who are organized, who have a vision, a long-term vision, who knows how to spend the money appropriately. How do we plug into this community? There's so many of us doing it and be able to filter all of these bodies into the place where they need to be right. that speaks to their passion and respect that there's going to be individual passions. But we're seeing it happen more and more. Um, from Youth Aids, it expanded to that Off The Mat t-shirt became an organization, Off The Mat Into The World to really speak to the individuals within this community and highlight their intentions so that we can support these efforts um, like street yoga and the work that you're doing, which is so phenomenal. You're already so plugged into your community. So how do we support you, your efforts, your intentions, either through awareness building or through funding so that you can do what you're doing that much better? Right, and I think part of it is is not only encouraging the yoga community to participate and to share and to give, but for the yoga community to realize that that actually the act of service and the work of serving others through the practice of yoga is in fact the, the next step in one's own personal yoga practice. Because like Sean was saying, we live in these contained spaces and eventually you do realize that we are far more than flesh and blood, that we are spiritually connected individuals and that we're all part of the same continuum. And so for us to move beyond ourselves is one of the most important acts 
And so, of course, you do that everywhere. You do it in your business, you do it in your relationships to, to treat people humanely, to follow the yamas and the niyamas, to act with complete mindfulness. And yoga is the perfect practice of that. But taking that one step further and serving those who are in deep suffering mm -hmm. is a way for you to continue the practice of yoga because the self-inquiry and the learning that comes from being of service is, is almost the greatest part of service itself. And mm -hmm. I know that the work we do in street yoga, I, I started off with what you were alluding to before, which, which we like to think of is, is if you have a charity mindset, then you are powerful and the other person is weak. Mm -hmm. You are giving something that you have that they don't, and they deserve your beneficence. And we didn't stay in that space very long because it is a futile gesture and it's it's very close yeah. and you eventually end up circling back on yourself and realizing that it's it's um not as fruitful as it could be. Yeah. So compassionate action becomes the, the real work to do and realizing that if you take something from yourself and you give it to another person, they're gonna transform it and they're gonna give you something back and you're gonna learn a lot about yourself. And so for me, it's turned out that, that being of service to anyone else, in fact, is being of service to myself. Yeah. And I cleanse myself and I become much more clear about my core needs. I become much more clear about how I need to behave in this world and what I need to do. Um, and then that keeps me from, I'm, I never get burned out. I've been yeah. doing this for a long time and it's wonderful stuff and I think what what you're alluding to about how we can support each other um, as community is is as we model behaviors and connections outside of ourselves we're modeling that in the yoga and service community and that's what this gathering is about is we're sharing information and we're letting go of ego and we're we're digging into the resources that we have and we're offering anything that might be of service if we know somebody where they're having a session down there where everyone is sharing the the contacts that they know and so there's not a sense of this is mine and I can't share it but no it, we have to put this out there because there's so many people who are really in deep pain who will never be able to enjoy the trees and and the beauty of this place and so I think we're really excited to, to sort of live the practice of service, but not in any sort of high-minded way, just because it's a great way to, to go through the day. And, and I think part of our sense is that a lot more people are starting to realize mm -hmm. that being of service is actually wonderful and it, it has so many benefits to so many people. So um, Sean's gonna be doing a lot of work um, bringing this mindset to the yoga community. And then there's a lot of people who are working on places for people to show up. If you have a, an affinity for people who are in a homeless shelter or domestic violence you know, survivors or people who survived rape or child abuse or people who are incarcerated, then there's opportunities for you to show up and draw from your own heart of yoga and, and be of service. And so it's, it's been a very fun collaboration with Sean to be able to uh, explore this and to be able to find ways to amplify this and bring it to more people.